What is up everybody? It's your boy Duty back again with another video and this video is my commentary on our boy August's August the Ducks uh video on our boy DSP and his meltdown during his screen scorn stream several weeks ago where he just essentially lost his shit, lost his mind and decided to essentially uh yell at his viewers for not supporting for not giving him tips for not giving him money for 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 not supporting him toughing it out and working overtime just to kind of uh provide content or beat the game scorn which of course you guys know that was very difficult and frustrating for phil so uh our boy august the duck decided to kind of review that stream and provide his commentary and a couple of you guys asked me to kind of review it and provide my own input. Uh, spoiler alert, I'm, I haven't seen it yet, but I'm pretty sure everything August the Duck said, I'm pretty, I'm pretty much gonna agree with it. So let's just watch the video and then I'll provide my feedback wherever I think it is necessary. Let's roll the tape. Yeah, that does upset me, okay? Uh, it would have been one thing if I'm staying late and people are laughing, having a good time and a few people are at least supporting the stream, but no one did. I'm gonna hope that tomorrow when I finish it, uh, there will be some support. Factoring in everything I made today, all right, and everything else, my bill that I have to pay and everything on, to, on, on Thursday, I don't even have enough right now to buy Gotham Knights on Friday. Notice our boy Phil did not say that. Uh, initially, he said it would be one thing if people were laughing and enjoying themselves and supporting, right? That was the initial comment. And then after the fact, he said, I hope tomorrow people will come out and actually support it. He didn't say anything about uh, wanting people to enjoy themselves and laughing or anything like that. So right there, it sets the precedent and it sets the tone for why Phil is upset. And Phil is upset because he did not make any money on that stream. Just being honest, I don't. Internet streaming. The only time you can talk about hot tubs, crypto, and moist men and have it all make sense in the same context. Well, actually, moist men and hot tubs are probably not that questionable together, but you know what I mean, okay? Now, streaming is without a doubt one of the biggest forms of entertainment on the internet right now. And with hundreds of thousands of people streaming, it's not really a surprise that sometimes some uh, unfavorable personalities will make it big. And one of those personalities we have talked about before four on this channel is DSP Gaming or Dark Side Phil. Okay, I'm gonna have to disagree there a little bit. Phil is not big and really was never big. He was a medium-sized channel. Uh, and the only thing that uh, kind of made him relevant was he started at the beginning of YouTube, but quickly faded away when more popular content creators uh, stepped up and, and filled that kind of need for these uh, playthroughs. So just wanted to add that. An OG of the YouTube streaming category who's been on this website for over a decade at this point and has recently been to the point of criticism for basically attacking his audience for not giving him enough money. Now I talked about him a few months ago and I thought- Another correction, that's not recent. That's been Phil's MO since 2014, 2015, probably earlier than that. Maybe it was just a fluke. I wasn't really caught up on all the dark side Phil lore. I hadn't watched the final season of the anime yet. But a few days ago, I came across a clip from one of his recent streams, and well, it seems like it's still going on and that it might even be getting worse. So you know what time it is. It's time to inject ourselves into a situation that has absolutely no bearing on our lives whatsoever because this is the internet, baby. That's what we do. Let's begin. Please subscribe. I went super late. Um. All right, guys. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm frustrated for two reasons. Reason number one, because yeah, the game does suck. Um, I really did not like tonight's stream. And in addition to that, as you guys can see, I stayed extra late for you guys, and basically it amounted to nothing. Um, no one's really supported, which pisses me off. It does. That I'm playing a game. Obviously, it's frustrating. A lot of people showed up to watch it because you saw how frustrating it was and no one supported. All right, so let me get this straight. You played a game that you obviously did not really enjoy and streamed for longer than you originally intended. And because of those two things, you think people owe you money because you chose to stream a game that you didn't like for longer than you intended. How does that make sense, man? Yeah, that does upset me, okay? It would have been one thing if I'm staying- I agree with him 100%. Staying late and people are laughing, having a good time and a few people are at least supporting the stream, but no one did. And that really upsets me. Um, I'm going to hope that tomorrow when I finish it, 
uh, there will be some support. Wait, what? Now you're just kind of contradicting yourself, man. You started that sentence by saying it would be different if people were having a good time, making it sound like that would be good enough for you and you only want money because people didn't seem to be enjoying it, which doesn't make sense either. But I just said the same thing. So big ups, August the Duck. I, 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 I like when two people, you know, it's kind of kismet. Two people agree and see the same point. Yes, I said exactly the same thing. So big ups. I completely agree with August the Duck. It's, a, it's an utter contradiction, which is Phil. If uh, August the Duck actually spent a little bit more time watching some of some of DSP streams, he would see that this is a constant with him. It's not once in the blue moon he loses it. Uh, and I know lately, uh, because of the criticisms levied by uh, um, YouTubers like Voice Critical, Keemstar, and so on, and you, uh, I'm pretty sure that uh, August Adult is being brought up to Phil. And I think that they actually brought it up on a stream, and he did mention it, but he kind of ignored it. Um, but I'm glad to hear. I'm glad to see that non-detractors or trolls that dsp likes to call us uh anyone that essentially makes content that shows him in a bad light i'm glad that people like august the duck voice critical are um doing videos arm fill and exposing him i mean we've been saying this for years and it's great to see content creators that are considered non-detractors actually talking about this as well so big ups to august the duck and voice critical then you followed that up by saying if they were having a good time and donating. Why would you expect that? I mean, most people are watching streamers for the streamer, not the game. That's kind of why the personality of a streamer is so important. So why would you expect the people who are watching you to enjoy what they're watching if you yourself are not having a good time? That makes no sense. Because it is pissing me off that I just stayed extra late and I got nothing for it. You know, the game's not even good. You know, if this were me, I'm not even exaggerating. If this were me not streaming, playing this... I would have just turned the game right off and said, F this, I'm not playing this anymore. But the fact that I'm now five hours into it, obviously I want to finish it, you know? Uh, this clearly shows that he doesn't care about gaming. I know he talks about he's this epic gamer and loves gaming. He's just like us, but this clearly shows he cares nothing about gaming. All he cares about is uh, using gaming to earn money uh, so that he actually doesn't have to get a real job. That's the only thing he likes about gaming. But I toughed it out for you guys tonight, and I got nothing out of it. You know, I really want to put most of the blame on Phil here, but honestly, if this has been going on since the last video I made about this guy, and most of his streams are like this, then it's kind of on the audience. If you are still willing to go tune into streams of a guy who is saying, I toughed it out for you guys and got nothing out of it, admitting that the only reason he's doing this is for money, not because he actually enjoys his community or enjoys what he's doing, then that's kind of on the audience, you know what I mean? Don't support a person who's admitting that all they want out of you is your money. 100% agree facts you're spot on August uh, the duck I say this in every video when Phil goes on about support and money essentially that is his MO that's all he cares about is just money and you know he fakes the funk you know it, it's like he's an alien and he's pretending to be a human and he says the human things uh, but his actions show other you know his actions clearly um, uh, don't line up with what he's actually saying. So uh, I'm glad that August is pointing that out. Most detractors know that fact, but you know I'm just glad that someone that's not really in the detractor feel uh, is stating the same thing. It, it's pretty obvious when you when you catch these streams from Phil and August. If you ever watch this, which I don't think you do, watch some more. Try to watch a couple more of his streams on the regular. This is a constant with Phil. But a bag of frustration. And that pisses me off. That they really ruined the game the way they did. I really do feel like they ruined it. If they just had different gunplay or no gunplay, it would have been a much better game. I don't know what they were thinking. It's like, you know, really. It's like you're walking around with a, a room full of guys with chainsaws and they give you a nerf bat. Wow. Oh, by the way, you also weigh 4,000 pounds. Gravity is 10 times strong and you're walking in goo. Oh, that sounds like a normal Friday night for me. So I'm not really sure what the complaints are about. I think he's playing Scorn, which I have heard is a pretty divisive game. I've never played it, so I don't really know the quality. I can't speak on that, but I do understand the frustration of waiting for a game, buying it only for it to turn out to be horrible. I don't know if that's the case here. I don't know how bad or good Scorn is. 
Uh, just a brief, I can touch on that. So Phil, anytime there is a new release that's been upcoming or that's upcoming or, or pending or soon to come out, he hypes everything up. And for him, it's, you know, this is the game that, that's going to save the channel. That's Phil's MO. And he's talked about Scorn for a long time and he used it as part of his October Spook Fest streaming month uh, thing that he does every October. Um, he didn't buy it. He actually got this as part of Game Pass. So he didn't pay any money for it. It was free on Game Pass. So, you know, he didn't even have to put any uh, upfront investment in this game. It's not like, you know, he he forked out 70 bucks and, you know, is not making his money back. And even even if that was the case, it still doesn't warrant, uh, warrant uh, uh, the type of behavior that Phil is dis displaying here. But I do understand the frustration, but taking it out on your audience like it's somehow their fault and that they should be trying to remedy this by sending you money, yeah, that's not cool. All right, so that is it for tonight. I'm going to upload this gameplay tomorrow. Basically, what we're going to do tomorrow is the same thing we did today. Yeah, uh, that seems like that might be a failing business model, but I actually sort of feel bad for some of the people who watch this guy's streams because I'm sure there's people who have been watching this guy forever and now they just sort of feel too involved to stop watching. Like, if you've been reading the chat, you might have seen some genuinely saddening things. Like this comment right here. I'm sorry, I'm getting a cat soon and I need to save up for a scratching post. I mean, I think that's genuine. I think that's a person who watches this guy and actually feels bad as being guilted in to thinking that they should actually be sending their money to this guy instead of saving for a cat and yes we call that pignosis uh august so essentially it's a term used by we 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 have the uh belief and 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 uh based on what you see here from phil is that phil implores uh cult like uh cult leader like um uh, phrases he uses coat like behavior to try to manipulate his viewers and we actually call them the dent heads because we we believe that they they are dense they they have mental deficiencies and they enjoy the abuse and they've put up with phil's nonsense for years and they actually enjoy phil belittling, belittling them and making them feel bad and guilt tripping them into giving them money now, as you read the chat here, you see the one guy that super chat. He said, oil, oiled, up, oiled up Haitian man. He said, you should complain more. It's very endearing. And yet he still gives him a $2 super chat. A and that's the problem. Phil doesn't care um, how he gets the money. He just cares about the money. You know, if you tip him 20 times a dollar and you insult him, he doesn't care because he's getting $20. He has a phrase that he implores many times is, thanks for the money dummies and that's how he treats his viewers and his you know supporters he essentially treats them as a piggy bank as a bankroll and that is the main thing occasionally he will speak and try to be nice and you know um thank his viewers and thank his supporters but most of the time this behavior you see on this scorn uh playthrough is the normal for phil now they feel bad that they are trying to put their life before Phil's. That's not good. You should not be making your audience feel that way. But yeah, you know, when I, when you guys actively, visibly see that I'm really annoyed that the game sucks and I'm obviously toughing through it because you guys are here to watch and you're enjoying, you know, hopefully there will be reciprocation. There was no reciprocation tonight. I mean, the, all the tips that came in came in before even the, the extra time I played. All right? So hopefully tomorrow we'll finish it and, you know, because again, tomorrow's my last streaming day of the week. I'm trying to raise funds for my day off here. Oh, uh, the day off. I talked about this in my other video, but basically he has a day off every week. And that's one of the things he uses a lot to try and guilt his audience into giving him more money. He says, oh, I'm not going to have enough money for my day off, which I mean, really, that's kind of your fault if you can't manage your money or if you're just not making enough to support your lifestyle, maybe it's time to get a second job. And the whole there's no reciprocation thing, Um, people taking time out of their day to watch you play a video game is the reciprocation a streamer gets a tip or a donation is completely extra and is not it's not required as a content creator the fulfillment you get should be from seeing people watch and enjoy your videos having a good time from something you created it should not be from people handing over their paycheck if that's what you're looking for you're doing it for the wrong reason uh 
100% accurate. I completely agree there, August. Uh, August. The one thing I do want to point out as well is that he does uh, monetize his streams and he cuts them up and he makes videos and he posts those videos and gets ad revenue. He has a Patreon where he actually uh, does, he charges $50 for a custom private video for people and he gets four or five of those a month. Uh, he also has uh, memberships on his channel. And as you can see at that point, he had 498 um, members. He actually got all the way up to about a thousand because someone gifted him uh, 600 uh, memberships at uh, four. What is he? I think he charged four bucks a membership. So he gets about $3 a member. So he gets a lot of revenue. Uh, if you ever watch this August, which I don't think you would, but if you do, uh, there is a content creator named Peace of Peace. And he has what's called the DSP tip tracker. And it's an extensive spreadsheet of all revenue sources that Phil gets. It tracks all of his tips. It tracks all of his super chats. It tracks everything. And there you can actually take a look and see exactly what our boy Phil pulls in. And just to let you know, DSP pulls in roughly about $130,000 a year as a streamer. Okay. And uh, by the way, from everything, you know, factoring in everything I made today, all right, and everything else, my bill that I have to pay and everything on, to, on, on Thursday, I don't even have enough right now to buy Gotham Knights on Friday. Just being honest, I don't. So I'm hoping that tomorrow's going to be a better day uh, in regards to that so that I can actually afford all the stuff this week. All right? By the way, also, some one of his uh, viewers actually felt so bad for him that they gave him the credits to buy Gotham Knights and then an extra credit so that he was able to buy Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. <clears throat> All right, guys. Thank you. Please have a good evening. Really? That's the way you choose to end your stream? I'm sorry. I don't care how much I love a content creator. If they ever came out and said, hey, you guys, uh, you know, you really haven't been giving me enough money recently. And after I pay my bills this week, I don't think I'm going to have enough money to afford a video game. So I'm really going to need you guys to start sending more money. Okay, thank you. I think I would likely lose respect for them for good and never watch again. Nothing says I don't really care about my audience like telling them that you can't afford your bills and it's somehow their fault. Now I wanted to see if these outbursts were kind of just a fluke or if there was anything else like this I could find on his channel. So I went on there and this is his most recent short. What's going on everyone? Phil here and so far November has been a really outstanding streaming month both for the games, the streams, the level of support. Everything's been positive but I wanted to make this short as a big heads up to everyone out there. We're kind of in danger of not hitting our membership goal for the month which would be no Christmas Marathon this year. Now, it's been an annual event I've done for many years because we always seem to hit either a sub goal over on Twitch or a member's goal here on YouTube. But we're kind of in jeopardy of not doing it this year. Uh, we need to hit 1,025 members. As of now, we're around 880. So there's the number we need to hit. All right. So not only is holding content hostage and demanding a ransom for it not exactly a great thing to do, you're demanding over 1,000 members when you already have over 800 to do a stream marathon. I would and looked on his membership page and the cheapest one was four dollars so let's just assume every single member did the lowest tier which i can almost assure you that's not the case but just to make it easy he is demanding an extra fifty thousand dollars a year to do a streaming marathon because that's what that number of members would be he's basically saying i need to be paid for what most americans make in an entire year as just a bonus to do a stream marathon that's awesome well phil if you ever see this i'm really not trying to attack you man i'm really just trying to offer some genuine criticism i mean your audience might be putting up with it now but eventually they won't people are not going to go out of their way to watch you and support you if you're just guilting them 24 7 that's not most people's idea of an enjoyable friday night so they might stop watching i mean i'm not trying to tell you how to live man but if what you're doing is teetering on sustainable or not you might want to work extra hard to not drive more viewers away if you enjoyed this video please leave a like and walk on over to that subscribe button and touch it. It's free. It won't cost you anything. But for now, that's all I have for you today. Bye. Big ups to August the Duck for his uh, video. I thoroughly enjoyed it. He did a great job with his commentary. Uh, I, I'm not sure if he actually follows so very closely, but he did a great job with uh, hitting the points that uh, people that follow Phil intimately, like myself and other streamers, he hit those points perfectly. And I'm so happy that someone other than a, you know, mainstream DSP detractor is talking about this. 
It started with Keemstar. It started with Ryutech USA, who's a bit of a low cow himself, but you know, he provided some good videos on it. Keemstar, um, Moist Critical, which has been the most recent one where he essentially uh, hit DSP so bad in the mouth uh, that DSP has promised to stop begging, <laughs> stop begging his members for membership, money, tips, and whatever. And of course, he's failing that. I actually had a video called uh, No Beg November, which he, I think he failed in like the fifth day. So, um, yeah, so yeah, that, that that's essentially it. So, big ups to August the Duck. I really enjoyed this video. I'm going to link his video to my video in the comment section or in the description section. So, if you guys want to check it out, definitely go give him a sub. Uh, he does some other great videos and stuff that you guys enjoy. Uh, he is not a DSP detractor, so if you're gonna, if you want DSP content, you know you, you may find some videos there every once in a while, but it's not his main staple. But he does, he does do some really good stuff. So definitely give him a sub. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Peace out.